Well, let's step into the room here and let's see what's going on here. Okay, Madam Mayor, this is, what, what is this room here? I mean, it looks nice. It got the, both the United States flag and the Georgia flag. And uh, I noticed the other night that you didn't have that. Of course, it was not a regular meeting. I think you try to have those at most regular meetings. But what is, what is this office? Is it, it looks like an office or what is this, it? This is the city and this is the city hall where we hold the count, where we previously held council meetings. And mind you, in years past, Sometimes that would, as you can see in this seating, uh, there would maybe be no more than five attendees at the council meeting. Mm -hmm. So as opposed to now, we sometimes have an attendance from 105 to 200 plus. Mm -hmm. And so we want to keep that as a positive. We want the citizens to be concerned about the business of the city in a positive manner. Mm -hmm. Now, we, when we was inside, we, by the way, this is the city, I guess it's a city flag here, right? Yes, it is. Okay, but anyway, so we, um, inside, we were talking about the minutes uh, today compared to maybe yesterday or last year or before you took office. Right. And I see you have some books there. Uh, do you want to go and start on the end down here? Or how you want to, how you want to do this? Go back to the, the before your administration, then we'll walk our way up to, to your administration. Exactly. Yeah. Well, let me take a stroll over here. And as you can see, these are minutes from 2008. That's the maximum. Could, could you hold that book up for me, please, where I can get a good, just pick it up for me, please? Yes. Now, that's the book there. You, what, what year is that, you say? Well, this is uh, 2008. That's for the entire year? Yes. The entire year? Entire year, annually. Okay. Annually, yeah, for 2000. 2008. Eight, okay. 2008 minutes. Yes. Official minutes. Official minutes. Okay. And these are the official minutes from 2009. That's 2009 minutes, yes. officially. Official. Okay. Moving right along. Well, who was the mayor then, by the way, of these two? two who, who was the mayor back then, you well, think? Well, at that time, the mayor was none other than uh, Mayor Kenneth Turner. Kenneth Turner. Okay. I'm sorry. The, for sure, I got this. Make sure who's that. Yeah, out. I like for yeah. Kenneth Turner. Kenneth Turner, okay. For 2009. Okay. And I'm sure. Okay, 2008 turn. Okay, may I turn? Okay. Yes, these are the official minutes. Okay. Give me the years once again. That's eight, nine, nine. and these are the ones from the official minutes from 2010. Hold, hold it up. I want to get a good. The 2010. Yes. Those are official minutes. Official okay, minutes. Okay. Thank you. Moving right along. These are the official minutes from 2011. 2011. Who's yes. the mayor then? Can it turn? Can it turn? Okay. Go right along. Twenty twelve. These are the may these are the minutes, official minutes for twenty twelve. Who was the mayor? Can it turn? Okay. okay. Twenty thirteen. Twenty thirteen. Hold hold that up if you don't mind, real good. So that's, that's that's the year before you. This year before you came in, right? Yes. Hold hold that up for me. I'm the other way. I want to see the pages. Turn, you turn, there we go. Yeah. This, 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 this is official minutes of everything that transpired for the year of 2013. Yes, it is. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Moving right along. Okay. My administration. And this is the, for the year of? 2014. 2014. Yes. Why do you think that, are you getting that much business done during your tenure, or why do you think that the minutes would be increased to such high degree? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. To be honestly specific and true, I just, from my heart of hearts, mm -hmm. feel that this is totally unnecessary. This is a waste of taxpayers' money. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the copier being overworked, costly, mm -hmm. and what we're about is being cost-effective, mm -hmm. providing the best bang for our bucks. Mm -hmm. 
And so as you can see, this is where we are. Well, Mayor, I kind of blame you for this because if people are employed by the city, should not they be trained on proper, probably uh, uh, taking a minutes if maybe something is wrong in taking a minute? But we can't blame people if they're not trained. If, if, if they don't know how to do it, they need to be trained. Well, um, prior to my coming, this employee has been employed here for 30 plus years. And I noticed you said you blame me. But the, to, to uh, uh, state my stance on that, um, I will say with the current administration, with the um, councilman and everything that's going on, uh, maybe she feels like to cover all the details she has to put all of this in. And then too, with all of this, I've met with her. Council has, and, and has advised her, and, and because we've gone through extensive training, that this is supposed to be a summary. And being that the judge has issued his orders, Judge Robert Reeves mm -hmm. uh, stated his stance that even with this, after the uh, issuance of the his ruling, mm -hmm. I cannot, uh, I can only discipline or what. But as far as having anybody removed, hired or fired, I can't do that. Okay, hold those minutes up, right there, if you can, if you can lift them. <laughs> uh, so you're saying that the same, there's no difference. The same particular recording clerk did these that did yes. those? Yes. The same one? Yes. Okay. So. You think that maybe they should, that, that, that that is being done because there may be legal action and that maybe they need to have that, you know, for legal that's compar not, comparison to that? That's not for that. Uh, that's not for that? No, that's not for that reason. I don't feel. Yeah. do this to let you all see that uh, for each year, and by the way, this is the science of it. finish this first and then I'll go back Black historic mayor, the first black female mayor, and the first female mayor in Gordon's history ever. Once again, you can see that uh, each one each month is separated, where this one is not. We are sure that we get to that one to do it, we separated the four black And this means that if a person wanted to request a copy of the minutes for the entire year. Uh, it would be quite costly for the year 2013. It wouldn't cost too much for these years, but once again, I'm not from a government, we have a right to these. So the mayor's question, as well as council members, they are asking the question, how can and why should the city minutes go from that to this in one year. Just food for thought. And I'm understanding now that someone is looking into the newspapers. They are looking to purchase newspapers for each one of these years. And they want to see how much information 
uh, publications was posted about Gordon previous mayors has been published about the current elected mayor, Mayor Ann Pupaloo. These things I'm sure will help probably in the future when people come in years to come to understand what took place here in Gordon, Georgia. This is the Ghetto Free Press. We do this because we believe you have a right to know and you should know. After all, when we go into foreign nations and put our lives on the line, we don't fight as black and white, Democrat, Republican, conservative, independent. We just do what needs to be done. And while I'm at it, this may be negative toward Mayor Ann Whippaloo, and I really, that is not really my concern right now. My concern is a good government here in the state of Georgia. And as we look around, I would love to know who was the mayor in previous years. I don't see any pictures of the mayors that served here before. There's no pictures, there's no years. Most every city that I've been into, they always list the mayors. And if they don't have their pictures, no, no, I can't take, I'm finna make it soft, no, they have their pictures. But at least they should have their names up. And maybe the accomplishments of the city, if they have received any awards, where are they? It seems as if though, something is happening under our form of government. This is a city flag, I don't know if it's ever displayed anymore. But once again, this is the Ghetto Free Press. And I'm George Boston Rhymes. I'm only doing this because I was called here year, last year, in the early part of last year. I was called in Meigs, Georgia, the early part of last year. I was called in Lumpkin, Georgia. I was called in Davisboro, Georgia. I was called in Warrington, Georgia. I was called in Quitman, Georgia. I was calling all of these. And after I reported it, and I'm sure that the elected officials in the Georgia General Assembly know all about this, but this don't seem to concern them. I guess they're gonna wait till somebody get hurt in some of these meetings, meetings because of hostilities and the temperatures are flaring, but nobody seems to care. Well, peace be unto you. Bye bye. get to free press and we report what others ignore. This is your first amendment right to know without whiteout from a controlled news media whiteout network. And we are located in Valdosta, Georgia, and we are here to inform, educate, and persuade if necessary. Always keep that in mind. Moreover, I want to say to you that as a community, state, nation, and world, we are not who we claim to be, but who we prove ourselves to be over a given period of time. And if we are a liar, time will tell. And if we are a racist or a hater, time will tell. And our righteous and holy God already know. So you are only fooling yourselves. Again, the Ghetto Free Press. I'm George Foster Rhymes.